Yo, what a great segue to start the stream. How does Chad feel about having neighbors who play the piano well? My neighbor's upstairs playing Bohemian Rhapsody right now. What a, what a situation I'm uniquely uh, qualified to, be, to relate to you on. We have a neighbor who has a grand piano in their house, and they play it every night from 5 to 8, and it provides a wonderful atmosphere. It's, uh, it, it, I do sometimes, if, if someone's playing loud, bassy music, I get annoyed. But if someone's playing loud, bassy music from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., I wouldn't get that annoyed because I would be in my house doing my own thing, not trying to sleep. If someone woke up and played the grand piano from 2 in the morning until 4 in the morning, I would probably be a little upset too. But instead, you know, usually I, I come home with, uh, with our daughter from daycare, and then I just hear like, like it's, uh, it's nice. It's weird to say, I guess. I don't mind when you live in a shared living situation. I don't mind hearing the sounds of other people living their lives. <clears throat> That's not that bad. It's only when people are like being disruptive late at night. But like when it's 6 p.m. and I'm cooking dinner and then like I hear from two doors down, I hear like pots and pans banging around. I'm like, yo, me too. How's the Peloton today? It was really good. By the way, I have like, I have two or three shooters in chat. I've got two or three chatters on my Peloton uh, following list now. They can always vet uh, the, the honesty of the Peloton bit. Today was 30 minutes. Ali Love, 80s pop ride, followed by 30 minutes. Jen Sherman, rock ride, followed by 30 minutes. Sam Yo, 90s pop ride. First one, 315 kilojoules. Second one, 317. Third one, 316. Average wattage, I would say around 176 for 90 minutes. Felt good. Every, it was just like today was just on rhythm. It was just like everything was like like there was no uh, there was no bonking. The bio steel hit right. Hydration was good. No, no stomach cramps from drinking too much water too fast. That's about all I got. Joel's what happened to Joel, dude? Joel died again. I had a, a push notification in the moderator sub channel on my Discord today. It said, you need to re-add Joel. The one that you were using was gone. So I said, what the hell, dude? It's like, is Joel's getting DMCA'd or something like that? So I re-added Joel, and now Joel is gone again? It's like someone is out there, like, deleting Joel's as I, as I Joel. It's, it's here? Oh, maybe there's just some, maybe there's some latency. Just like, don't DMCA Joel, man. It's just a fish. If I'm getting DMCA'd on Joel, that better be DMCA'd fucking by Joel. It better be the fish himself sending the cease and desist. Because if it's somebody that took a picture of a fish and is like, oh, that's my fish, that's not your fish. This isn't, uh, you know, the myth of the first camera where if they take your photo, they steal your damn soul. You don't own Joel. Joel's it. he's... Probably been dead for 55 years or something like that. I don't know how long the, a, a, a smelt's average lifespan is. Is Joel not entitled to the spin of his brow? How long does a salmon live? Maximum recorded age was 13 years. It's crazy. You can think about the fact that I mean, and that's, you know, just recorded. There might be some unrecorded salmon going crazy. Do you have some salmon out there that are... You were born in 2010? That's pretty wild. Yeah, Joel's probably still kicking it. Uh, Joel's not a salmon, but whatever. What is he, a herring? I don't know. It doesn't matter. You know how I've said that there's like, um, you know, I know there's millions of species of animals... But from a human perspective, there really only need to be like, I'm going to say less than 500. Fish is like one of the biggest examples of that. There's really only like three different kinds of fish you need to know. There's three categories. There's fish you eat. There's fish that eat you. Those are the two big ones. And then there's other. 
So like salmon, that's a fish you eat. It's in there with herring and cod and sole and fluke and haddock and halibut and tuna, etc. mackerel. Then you, there's fish that eat you. Sharks. Whales. <laughs> Technically not fish, but they do... They, they, they share more in common with the fish than they do with man, I would say. So we're drawing a delineation there. And then, you know, there's ones where two ships pass in the night, you know? Like a, one of those huge ocean sunfish. I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned with them. They're not concerned with me. We have no quarrel with one another. I'm with you. Someone said you can't look me in the eye and tell me whales aren't fish. People, be, oh, they have fins. They live underwater. They look like a fucking fish. Oh, yeah, but when they have a baby, they fucking feed it from their titty. So they're more like us. Really? I'm not a fish, you idiot. If you're, if you're careless Linnaeus, sure, okay, you can say that a whale is closer to a man than a whale is to a fish. But I'm not a freak like that. I'm not that concerned about the whale milk. I'm concerned. I look at a fish, I look at a whale, I say... That's a uh, second cousin twice removed. Oh, whales have uh, feet bones? Okay, sure, it's called vestigial traits. Our ass, we still have gills, you know? When you get skinny enough, you can see the, the outline of your gills just below your chest. That doesn't mean we can breathe underwater. You guys think you know everything about biology. I have a bachelor's of science with honors from the University of Phoenix online. You don't hear me bragging about it every second stream. Why do you have a hard time saying that? The honest answer, I mean, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear the honest answer. After my long Peloton rides, I have like a glycogen hangover where it takes me like 30 minutes to get back up to speed. Probably more, I guess it's, I've been off the bike for like 45 minutes, but it, it might take me like an hour, hour and a half to get back to like my, my brain getting oxygen instead of my legs. <laughs> it's still, heart rate's still elevated. Let me, let me see. Yeah, I would say we're mid-80s. You have a bachelor's of science in computer science? Oh, congratulations. That qualifies you to yell at me for not inlining my code and instead importing like one too many libraries into C++. No, if you try to run this on a Game Boy camera, it's going to take 14 more clock cycles. If you eventually get 15 billion concurrent users, that's going to lead uh, to each one of them having to wait for one eighth of one extra second. Oh, you could just inline that and make your code completely unreadable. And then when you eventually leave uh, your job, as programmers do every six weeks in order to get a huge raise to go to another job, the person who takes over is going to have to rewrite the whole fucking thing from scratch because you didn't care about writing good readable code with fucking comments. Instead, you just, you're doing a masturbatory, uh, oh, let's see how brain fucked I can make this, you piece of crap. I don't know, you're probably like, you're probably one of the good ones. If I had to guess, I know just enough about software engineering to make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. And I can still fizz buzz with the best of them. You might say, oh yeah, what's the secret of fizz buzz? Come here, come here, buddy. <laughs> it's the medulo operator. You think I forgot about the medulo op uh, operator just because I haven't been in programming school since 2019? Close enough? What do you mean close enough? That's the sim. Is it, do you're gonna, I, I, excuse me. If anybody's gonna be knocking me for my pronunciation, it's not gonna be computer programmers. I'll light you the fuck up. Unlike you motherfuckers, I took a couple English classes in university because I was forced to to get my science degree for some reason. I've read books that weren't published by uh, O'Reilly Publishing, where it's like, intro to Java, and then for some reason it has like a fucking uh, hummingbird on the front of it. I mean, like, intro to Python having a snake, that makes perfect sense to me. But then you're trying to learn, like, libgdx or something like that, and you're like, why the fuck is there a toucan on the front of this book? It doesn't make any damn sense. I somehow got a food team to work in this weekly. Listen, you, you have to remember... Please don't just come into my chat and say, I got a good 10-piece this week. It has to be a 10-piece on hard mode. If you got a 10-piece on medium mode, I don't really care. 
That's like telling me, did you see the game last night? And I'm like, no, the Canucks didn't play last night. And you're like, no, I meant like my Little League team. I'm sorry. I, I didn't see Woodrow Wilson Middle School versus Taft Middle School. I forgot the name. I forgot Taft's first name. Is it also William? That was my high school. Just relax, okay? The reason I chose it is because there's probably like, I bet there's 1,500 Taft Elementaries in America. I wasn't talking about yours specifically. This is a, a Norm McDonald bit. I was not the biggest Norm guy. I, I, I enjoyed some, and some of it I, I rolled my eyes and groaned. I saw a clip last night of his podcast where he said, I've, I'm up 45 pounds right now for a role. And then his podcast co-host said, what role? And he said, oh, it's not a, a specific role. I just thought that every movie needs a big fat guy, but apparently they don't. And I was like, that's really good. That's, that's a funny one. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> let's start here. <laughs> Level me? I, I'll have you know, you, you're inclined, and it's, it's your privilege, if you so choose, to type messages about the tamarind. I, uh, I had on my phone last night, I took a tamarind, I buffed it, I sold it into a triceratops, I got nine wins. So there is the possibility that a, that a tamarind can work. It's free future stats you'd put on a different unit anyway. Listen, you piece of shit. You got to read what the Tamarind does, okay? Pets, everybody's like, it's automatic. It's automatic. Look at the damn weekly. View the pack. Look at the Emperor Tamarind. Where are you, you piece of junk? Level one cell. Give 50% attack and health to the leftmost shop pet. Don't make it sound like it's so simple. The stats that you give to this unit, if you sell it before it hits level two, are cut in half. So you gotta invest at least nine gold to get 100% of the stats that you're buffing it with in the first place. Simply get it to level two. If I could get levels to work reliably, then the jellyfish wouldn't have died with one win, okay? I'm not saying that the tamarind can't work. Literally, I said the opposite. It can work. The thing is, people make it sound like automatic. Like, oh, just buff your tamarind and then sell it. You need a couple of things to fall into place. Anatoly Tetris. Motherfucker's showing up at the NHL game telling Quinn Hughes to shoot on the power play. You think he doesn't know how to, how to handle the power play? It's not Toxic Tuesdays. People, you're, you don't understand that you're the toxic one, which is what's driving me crazy. Like when you're playing Metal Gear Solid and, and one of the guys goes, Oink. you know what I'm talking about? Holy cow, we won round one. I'm in on the joke, though. I know that you're being a little kid because you're like, it's funny when he gets mad and then to pretend that he's uh, more mad than he actually is. I understand. You got to get control wherever you can get control in your life. For me, it's on the Peloton. I get passed by somebody, you know, with a uh, thin blue line avatar, age 70 plus. I say it's not going down like that, buddy. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm grinding. I'm getting the wattage up and, and I'm high-fiving him after he passes me, and then I'm high-fiving him twice after I pass him, and I'm probably not receiving one in return. But you don't try that on me, because I know the tricks, okay? Opinion on Japanese airline food? It's still pretty bad. Like, it's, I, I've never had a meal on an airplane, especially in economy class, where I've been like, wow, this food is really good. The thing that mostly is annoying about airplane food, I'm always like, why is the bread so bad? Like, I get that it's hard to serve so many people in such a tight space and, like, everything has to be sous vide or microwaved and then brought on. But, like, bread is, like, it's shelf-stable, man. Why, why is all the bread always so bad? It's hard to make the bread rise at higher altitudes. They're not cooking it in, the, in flight. They're buying it from Cisco or, like, Gordon's Food Services or whatever. Can't they just buy... <laughs> Yeah, they just buy, like, slightly better bread instead of just, like, warm flour? Buy honey? Brother, we gotta, we gotta make sure that we don't lose before we worry about winning, okay? We've, we've got one win, it's round 11. Like, a honey is just gonna make it so our bee is the last thing that dies. Honey turns draws into wins? How do we turn draws into or how do we turn losses into draws first we need to get to draws before we can worry about getting the wins what a shot oh no this is 16 16 dog though please please just one falcon trigger it's not a lot to ask okay note to self falcon 
unusable. Can I, no, no matter how many of them you get, cannot be done. Is it random? No, you have to, it has to survive an attack and get a kill itself. It's an infinitely worse saber tooth. It's the, but there's no saber tooth in the pack this week. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, man. Have we earned casino rights back? No, like the, by far the opposite. The casino rights today have gotten further away for sure. You know if you take away the casino here, people will get their fix elsewhere and maybe with real money. I'm not responsible for your actions. You're responsible for your actions. By all means, go, go elsewhere. If you are addicted to gambling, please leave. Also, seek help. But don't do it in front of me. Are you seeing how many who asked you're getting right now? I'm, I Honestly, I feel bad that I read the message. I should have seen the, the harm that would come from me reading the message. That's on me. That's irresponsible of me as a streamer. I'd like to apologize to you for the honest feedback you're getting right now. Gambling needs to be illegal. Sports betting has gotten out of hand. Well, I don't know if it needs to be illegal, but... I linked Dan to this TikTok yesterday. Did you hear this? I don't know if, if you follow TikTok investors like me. Please don't have What's music. What's up, everybody? So it's Neek Betts here, and I'm a senior in high school, but I'm not going to college. I just don't think college is the right fit for me, and sports betting is where it's at. Last year, I'm not going to lie, I lost $4,000 sports gambling. Ever since I did this one strategy, I'm up over like 100 units in one year. It's crazy to think about because all I do is just sit on my couch and watch sports. Here is a play from the other day. Kevin Durant, six assists, and Devin Booker, four made threes, 135 to pay out 3,000. It's honestly not that hard. Anyone can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I must have watched that at least five times. Um, it's not that hard. If anyone can do it, you can do it. I lost... $3,000 sports betting last year, but this year I'm up 100 units. Well, I don't even know what it even means. But the, you know, for those of you who are just listening on audio, you're basically the same as the video watchers because I didn't put the video up on the screen. But the dude, he was like, here's my strategy. And he just posted a screenshot of him hitting one parlay. It was like Kevin Durant hit the over on his points and then Devin Booker hit four f free throws and he's like I turned 135 bucks into 3,000 and then he, he said it's honestly not that hard anyone could do it what do you mean anybody could do it it's just you just of course when the players do the thing that you bet on them to do then you win of course it's not hard I do feel bad because the kid is and I don't use kid like derisively like literally he's a high school senior right but I mean, he's, he's a child, but you should also not be... I mean, how is he sports gambling as a, as a little... Not a little kid, but how, how is he sports... How did he lose $4,000 as a high school senior? Which is, in my opinion, why it shouldn't be advertised on like every sport on the planet. But anyway. So I haven't seen The Last of Us, but I did laugh at the, the Twitter post that was like, where was this scene in The Last of Us finale? And it was... Um, the, the, again, not from the show, it's from the game. It was Joel um, burning someone to death with a flamethrower. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's so good. That's an evergreen tweet format. I would love if they made like a, a Zelda show. I would be the guy liking the tweet that's like... Um, Where's this scene in the show? And it would be like Link. Oh, motherfucker. You know, like getting on top of like a, a, a piece of rock and then going rear, 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 rear. Dun dun the pause, pause, on pause, on pause, but boom, 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 shooting like 17 bombs at the same time into the base of the stone so that you fly across the whole map in a single, in like the first act of the game. I've, I've seen a little bit of Zelda. Chipotle's new chicken al pastor goes pretty hard. I was hoping that they would introduce, like, um... 
maybe like a chicken for atheists, but I guess that's just a pipe dream. That joke is actually horrendous. Oh, sorry, did I trigger you with my joke that wasn't offensive and also didn't make any sense, I guess? It's fucked up how it's illegal to do comedy these days. Like, where do you get off thinking that comedians need to make people laugh? I thought they were modern-day philosophers. I just meant it was a bad pun. You are an enemy of free speech, and your tone won't be handled, okay? Your, your tone will not be tolerated here. Sell a, you sell a sauropod, get the cows out there to work with the cats. That hurts. I lived, bitch. Level three gorilla. It's a little annoying. Thanks for the lemon. <laughs> oh, it's not annoying at all, brother. <clears throat> the problem is what do you sell? It's really hard to like sell anything but a sauropod here. Even though the sauropod gives us money. The beetle, I think you're fucking crazy. 15, 25 with lemon. I think that's, well, you know what? Okay, you sold me. <laughs> Sell it and buy it. How am I supposed to, what am I supposed to fucking get the, oh, you got it. <laughs> Whoopsie. Anyway, okay, you're gone. Cow's got to go first. I would, you're, you, uh, yes, I, I, I noticed that after, uh, after, after my mistake. We're going to go crazy. We're going to go for deluxe milk. I think we lost. Why is our team all gone? <laughs> My melon! Oh! Wait, but the rest of the squad is dead. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm literally so stupid. We had a, we had a genuine chance on that one. Have you ever gone against another hard mode player? Who's going to tell them? There are no other players. You know what? I, I respect the old Reddit switcheroo. You piece of junk. They don't pit hard-moded people against each other? Well, it's just not the way, like, the multiplayer works. Like, I may be going up against people whose teams were constructed on hard mode, but if they took something that has a start of battle effect, they don't... It's not like I'm going up against them and seeing their start of battle effect happen. But it's possible that I could be going up against teams that were constructed under the, the rigorous requirements of hard mode. Like buying something um, costs four instead of three or like rolling costs two gold. So there's like a, a little... On some teams we go up against, there might be an invisible drag. Start of battle effects you see. Play, probably at this point played about 500 rounds of hard mode. Have you ever seen anyone on the enemy team have a rock bag decimate their team? Or like my units all die and then I summon two scorpions out of nowhere? Or Yes? Then you are high on cough syrup. You are robo-tripping right now and your family wants you to come back to them. He knows the word. You know, half the shit that you think like old people don't know was invented by old people. The internet didn't just, you know, pop out of nowhere circa like, you know, 2004 when you finally got unfettered access to 4chan with no supervision as a 10 year old, you know, like it's it was there before I was there. It's literally me. It's like all of you. You don't sound cool saying it. You don't sound cool saying it either. You just feel cool typing it. 
I've seen you with your long sleeve Kirkland signature Hurley t-shirt. And the jeans your mom bought you that have 17 pockets on the right and no pockets on the left. You don't look cool saying robo tripping. Shut your mouth and go to 10th grade trigonometry class, okay? From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., you go to a place where adults are in charge. If you still take a, a long yellow bus with a hundred kids on it to your day job, all I do is walk down the stairs, okay? And that's the difference. So just know what you're getting into here before you start typing this riffraff. Because I've been there. Hundred kids on the bus? Oh, but now everybody's like a transportation engineer. Um, there's four kids per row, but there's only 18 rows, okay? It's more like there's like 72 kids on the bus. Yeah, maybe in America, where school truancy is like an endemic issue. In rural Ontario, your only options were go to school or skip school and work on the farm or take the bus to school, then skip class and just loiter outside of the convenience store. So most of them at least decided to, to stay warm all day. Truancy hasn't been an issue since the 90s. Excuse me, you're acting like I didn't help my, my third grade niece write a report about Kamala Harris. When she was the attorney general of California, she tackled school truancy as an issue. Did you know up to one third of Californian children in elementary and middle school experience chronic truancy? One third? One in three kids was consistently not at school from grade one to grade eight? Listen, I don't know how they got the stats. I'll, I'll, I'm just passing it on to you. Yeah, by throwing the parents in jail? Well, it sounds like they weren't doing their job anyway, so... Uh, so what I, that, that sounded bad, but what I was gonna say sounded worse, which was no big loss. <laughs> way worse, but anyway. Haven't seen uh, Northern Lion Harem guy lately. Is he okay? Yeah, he was here uh, yesterday and every day um, before that as well. Are you okay is the real question. You haven't been here in a while. You're experiencing chronic truancy in the chat? He's here as we speak. Look at that. You know what's a great 90s song you don't hear that much anymore outside of like Verizon commercials? You know that one that's like, dong, 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 send me on my way, send me on my way, send me, you know that one? Dong, 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 that's from Ice Age. I'm sorry to inform you that I'm 34 years old. I never, I've never seen Ice Age. I had another question, too. Does anyone know what the hell... LL Cool J is talking about in the, um... In the, um, Flava in Your Ear remix? When he says, Hollister Hollywood, but is it good? I never know what that guy's saying. What even is that? I just, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't... I understand why Dan Rage quit his stream. People are like, you should have seen Ice Age. It's part of your era. I'm sorry to tell you, maybe I was a little too cool to go see Ice Age as like a 17 year old when it came out. Then I referenced maybe one of the top songs of um, 1995, one of the top 90s hip hop songs of all time. People in my chat claim to like rap music, but actually they only listen to um, Death Grips. There's nothing wrong with that. Except you should broaden your horizons a little bit as well. It's just it's my two cents at the very least. You don't know Flava in Your Ear remix? I'm not even talking about the original, which is like bizarrely... Um, well, this is not great. Um, bizarrely less popular. I'm talking about the, the remix, which is a big song. What do you think he meant when he said deeper, bluer? My head is like a, my hat is like a shark's fin. Well, his hat, he always wore one of those, um, like a newsboy cap backwards. He says, Hollis to Hollywood, but is it good? Hang on, I'll be like a wrinkled housewife. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Flava in ya ear, remix, lyrics, genius.
give me a sec. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find it here. Did I win that one? <laughs> I'll take a draw, honestly. Holly, he does say Hollis to Hollywood, but is he good? LL Cool J self-references his movement from Hollis Queens to Hollywood, becoming more commercial and making mainstream ventures, but is he good? LL would later use this as the hook for his song, Hollis to Hollywood. Wow, there you go. I do like when he says, um, word to mama, I tongue kiss a piranha, electrocuta barracuda, I'm here to bring the drama. With these lines, he's letting us know how tough he is. Piranhas are infamous for their biting, so tongue-kissing one would be suicidal. Cool J definitely wouldn't be licking his lips anymore, and then an image of LL Cool J licking his lips? Equally, attempting to electrocute a barracuda would likely end up in electrocuting yourself, too. So true. <laughs> are barracudas electric? You don't have to be electric to be electrocuted. Otherwise, that classic dad prank where you're, like, changing a fuse or something like that. And then pretend that you get zapped and you go, ah! I'm just kidding. That would never work. Okay, I could shuffle position for sure. I would never do that to my daughter. I would never. It might traumatize her with that prank. That's a prank you only do on sons. What do you think? I am a monster? <laughs> hmm, plus two? Hmm, don't mind if I do. Ooh, that plus two felt good. What if you went to a dinosaur theme park and the electricity was down? Would you do it? Would I do what? Huh? <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> it? I don't think I would do it. I, I'm, I don't want to do it until I find out what it is. The dad joke? I don't... I don't understand. This Maybe this is a reference to Jurassic Park. That movie's a little uh, after my time. I was a little old for it when it came out when I was when I was five. Justin with the robot dog, you know? Honestly, sir, with God as my witness, I'd like you to leave the establishment. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're confusing the both the workers and the patrons here. Nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> Good shooting. Nice octopus. You shoot me with a tomato, I'll shoot you with a tomato, buddy. Just, please, please, if you could kill the reindeer before it got a chance to do anything. Oh, the Niala, what's going on here? 24, oh! I'm fucked. Slash marker, super auto pets. Game is pure shit. <laughs> Total trash. Feel like pure shit just want her back. I can't believe that couldn't get us there. What is this game called? Bone Razor <laughs> Minions. Bone Razor Minions. Now... When you um, play indie games, you don't need to prepare because the game is $4.55, which means it's going to be 4.55 megabytes. You see what kind of fucked up world we live in? Subtotal, Canadian, $4.55. Tax, BC, $0.55. Cents. Excuse me, David Ebby, you didn't fucking do anything. You didn't make the game. You didn't fund Steam. It's an American company. Why, why do you get your pound of flesh? He didn't, he didn't do anything. If I bought it and it was like, oh, the developer was from like Argentina, so you got to pay Argentina tax, I would be like, that makes sense. But he didn't, he didn't do anything. It's an import tax? Bro, there's no import. It just traveled through the pipes. It didn't even have to go across the border. Plus, I got to pay tax on, uh, on Canadian games, too. And then it's even worse because the dev of the game then has to pay tax on the money that they earn from the game in Canada. It never ends, man. 
Yeah, we got sales tax here. I don't think we should, though. I mean, I like the stuff that it buys, but I don't like paying the tax. So, <laughs> I don't know. I would love your thoughts on this. Can't they just, like, provide services without requiring us to pay for them? Like, isn't that their job? Okay, I can tell you, it, it feels like this game is making my whole computer run at 0.65 FPS, but... It's understandable because you can see just from the visuals that it's uh, it's pretty robust. In a time long at Departed, we were playing Bone Razor Minions. It's been described as a vampire survivors type roguelite. But what the fearful and foolish folk did not realize is that those who are already dead cannot be killed. Thou are one such reviled Bone Razor. Now riseth from thy grave, but tread carefully, as the godly heroic forces come to hunt and slay thee once more. Fetch their bones, and amass a legion of dead and demon, for the king of this domain crusades to demand thy head. Sorry, I'm doing it in my Nintendo Direct voice. N now riseth from thy grave, but tread carefully, as the godly heroic forces come to hunt and slay thee once more. Fetch their bones, and amass a legion of dead and demon. For the king of this domain crusades to demand thy head. Coming to Switch and Switch eShop, e May 7th, 2023. Can now resist King Giggled's poundings? Huh? <laughs> First the local peasantry shall sur surely come seeking thy head, and the king's crusade mustn't be far behind gagging for thee. <laughs> when thou art ready, head down into the exit below and give them smelly peasants a jolly good pounding from me. Is this 18 plus? Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Chat's horny on main? Well, like, I accepted for this game because it seems like the game is a little bit horny as well. I don't think any of the verbiage was unintentional, okay? They should make a sequel to um, Heat, but it's about McNulty trying to become a competitive uh, hot dog eating champion. Uh, 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 McNulty is trying to become a competitive hot dog eating champion. There we go. You should never put anything on the plate that you're not able to eat in 30 seconds if you feel Joey Chestnut at your door. I'll, I'll confirm that then. Ah, my master rises one more. I see thee clutch shiny gold coin stolen from the peasantry. Here at this blasphemous meta altar, thou can spend thy coin to unseal new abilities and bolster thy powers further. I feel like a waiter at medieval times. Thou may even bolster the enemies these faces, thus giving more boner resources. Excuse me? Needed to beat off the later waves of memes. And if thou finds hero souls, they may be bestowed to unseal new talents specific to the character class thou has chosen. So do not fret as death grips thee so friendly for each time. Sure. Bone raise lore. Spendeth gold coins for all classes to learn new talents. Spendeth gold coins to bolster enemy meanies, giving thee extra resources. Sp thou can sell any bone raise lore meta to respec. What is happening? <laughs> Pressing J when moving dashes the about. That's big. All pickups take longer to fade away. Thou shall have jaw-dropping bone suckage. Okay, I definitely want some of that. Hey guys, you remember this movie? Our arrows will blot out the sun. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty. It's a pretty good movie. My opinion, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Don't try to tell, oh, my dad fought at the Battle of Thermopylae and that movie is a bastardization. Yeah, who was your, da your dad at the Battle of Thermopylae? The guy who looked like uh, old cottage cheese bent over who ends up betraying the good guys, a.k.a. the Spartans, to the bad guys, a.k.a. the Persian forces, just so he can get a little, mmm. Come on. I'm going to upgrade my archer even further. Upgrades a level 2 archer minion to level 3. My dad was Leonidas, so we're not, we don't hang out, okay? The Spartans were good guys, because we see the movie from their perspective. Honestly, they should make a 300 from the perspective of Xerxes. And he would be like, hey, do you see those guys over there, like in Greece? They've been throwing babies off cliffs and stuff if they're not strong enough. We should go free those babies. They could call it 003. And we'd be like, yo, get him, Xerxes. 
Weren't all the Greek city-states fighting the Persians, though? Yeah, but the Athenians, we don't respect them because they're all like, oh, look at our culture, look at our democracy. And Sparta was more like, this is Sparta. And they're like kicking envoys down like big wells and stuff like that. I don't even know if it was a well now that I think about it. I never saw any water in that thing. It's like it's specifically there just to kick like, uh, like diplomats down. Extra champions shall rarely arrive to bully thee mercilessly. I don't. I feel like I don't speak English. A small group of superstitious beggars bid thee unwelcome. Wing-beating chompers swoop in for marrow-munching nibbles? What the hell? It's not like in Vampire Survivors I ever knew what the hell was going on anyway. I'd be like, oh, I take the cross. People are like, bro, you've got to take uh, prawn spaghettini. Prawn spaghettini with garlic goes crazy. And if you get uh, Bingus's oregano, then you've got the whole pasta set and it becomes a, a reformed mythic. Okay, tier twos, not even sweating. Ooh, corrupted relic. Let me get knife and fork, perfect for eating fish and chips with. Each bone race has a 4% chance to raise another min. Every 25 uh, bone raises, we get a bone raise for free. Those are Costco stats. Let me get, uh, let me get level three uh, bone, bo uh, yes, level three gaunt. Skeleman. Don't even get me started, by the way. I went off in the Discord last night. People were really hating on Costco, man. Saying the membership's a scam. How is paying $60 to save... I don't know, like a million dollars a scam? Costco's a great place to work, too. I have to assume that that's true, because I got recognized by staff two times. So, it, honestly, smart people work there. The demographic is perfect. Is it really saving you money if you were buying things you wouldn't otherwise buy? Well, here's the thing. At that point, I, and I'm not disputing that that happens at Costco. It definitely does. You go in for like 10 things, and then you're like, oh, well, I'm here. I might as well buy like 15 other things. Just because the, the, they look good and the prices are good, right? But is it really wasting money if those things that I didn't need to buy... I then eat and enjoy. <laughs> I don't know. It's it, it's it's a contentious issue. I would love your thoughts on this. How much is a PS5 there? Listen, kid, come here. A lot of people don't know this. At Costco, at least Costco Canada right now, you can buy Nintendo eShop gift cards, Xbox Live money, PlayStation Network gift cards, $100 gift card, 90 bucks. Who almost covers the BC sales tax. And then that's even before you get the 2% cash back from the executive membership. And then the other like 1% cash back if you use the Costco MasterCard. And then there were some that was like, uh, you know, there's two $50 gift certificates to restaurants, $100, $100 in gift certificates is for uh, $80. Unfortunately, none of the restaurants are restaurants we go to, but one day they're gonna put Dombo on there and oh man. It is really funny for me to think of someone who like has played so much Vampire Survivors that they're sick of it. Or you can also construct landmines for big boomies. They're like, oh, I've, I've played so much Vampire Survivors, I can't stomach any more Vampire Survivors. But you know what would really hit the spot? What about a game that's functionally almost exactly the same experience as Vampire Survivors, but it has that novelty that I'm that I'm lacking right now? And I can't even pretend that that's not me with with roguelites. Ooh, I got a 25 overshield and a 45. Sure, why not? Extra wizards shall rarely arrive to blast their magical loads. Is this game allowed on Steam? Steam's like, hey, it's okay to have your games be lewd, but they better be called, like, trapped in a fuck prison, please help. They can't be called stuff like Bone Razor Minions, okay? Have you seen Sex with Hitler on Steam? No, I, um... Somehow that one has slipped under my radar. I don't know how... <laughs> Yo, this soundtrack goes hard. It's a little bit, like, incongruous with the rest of the game, and I think I, I support that. What a song, dude. I feel like I'm, like, in... 
I'm drinking a cup of tea in the, the goat's house at the start of Undertale. Hey, looks like you hit your head pretty hard there. My name is Goaty. I can already tell I'll be your best friend in this godforsaken place. But don't worry. I know that the world looks like it's full of scary monsters, but everyone's trying their best. Including you! As long as you work hard and do your best to learn. Hey, I was on a... I was vibing. For now, why don't you just enjoy some nice spider pancakes. I made them just for you. I know they're your favorite. But didn't we just met? <laughs> Sorry, didn't we just meet? Ho, ho, ho. It's like it's wholesome, but with a little bit of like a sinister undertone. Dunk, dunk, dunky, dunk. The game isn't that horny. Just referencing erections is not horny. You know, it's not like urologists all day are like, how's your wood doing? La 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 la. They're just, you know, they're, they're, they're just being funny with it. They're just, it's, it's a double entendre. Mine sure is. Don't talk like you have a urologist. You only have a urologist if you're like, 65 years old, or you have a hydrocele like I did. I'm 35 and I have kidney stones. Don't you need like a nephrologist for that? I don't know, maybe maybe that's the domain of the urologist. I don't know why I'm talking to someone with kidney stones as if like I know what kind of doctor they should go to. Skill issue. <laughs> Sorry. Any tips from the urologist for how not to get kidney stones? I drink a lot of water. I don't know if that's enough, though. Low sodium diet? I would say I probably have a pretty high sodium diet. I don't know if it's higher than, like, the average North American, but it's definitely higher than, like, the average caveman. I don't know how much beef jerky they ate. I don't know if I eat less sodium than the average uh, YouTuber or streamer. Definitely, I would say, I, I mean, on average, I eat less fast food than the average streamer. Less less restaurant food, less DoorDash. But I do, I just eat a lot, honestly. And some of it is salty. Can you give me one reason not to put my life savings in the spy? Yes. Um, it depends on your age and your risk tolerance. You need to, you need to take an, an accurate risk assessment first. You may think that you have a lot of uh, risk tolerance, but you find out that you would prefer to actually have some bond allocation just because it tends to smooth out the dips that inevitably happen in the market. Or if you're like 80 years old, you probably shouldn't do that either. You should probably just take your money out and, and spend it. No disrespect. <laughs> the banks are all about to explode. Yeah, sure. I mean, like maybe, but... Come on, Peter Schiff. What are you going to do? Oh, when the banks all explode, I can't wait to load up my Costco cart full of gold bricks and go buy some industrial size bags of veggie straws. Like, we're all going to be fighting each other for old tin cans full of half moldy tuna at that point anyway. Barrow boners may instead spawn as barrow diggers. Could somebody tell me what the hell this means? You can use more than one slurp juice on a single boner. No one knows. All right, well, let's find out, <laughs> I guess. I'm inclined to say that Bone Razor Minions, great game. I'm having a lot of fun. Some people might take this as an insult. I don't mean it this way. It's, um, it's very easy to play. You need some games like that. I'm all about, like, less complicated games. I'm not against the complicated game, but the idea that, like... I mean, no, this is not a take that's gonna make me, like, too popular. We're going full explosive team, I guess. I even think, like, AAA games are too popular. I think they become so popular... It's not popular, sorry. <laughs> I think they've become too complicated. Too complicated. I think they're over-designed in order to justify the purchase price, because you can advertise that they've got, like... 100 different systems in them that are largely irrelevant to the actual gameplay I would kill for like a smaller gameplay loop and then you know you could also like lower the price by 30 bucks at that point but whatever so true what, whatever happened to just rolling some dice and then betting on whether it's going to be even or odd then all of a sudden I mean you know what now that I think about it I also like 
um, being able to to make the bet and then change the value of your of one of your dice, or to re-roll a dice again, or to replace uh, a d6 with a d4. Not that I guess that would matter for evens or odds, but. What I don't like is, hey, you've slayed 17 goblins. Here's a ledger itemized list of 17 different resources that you got. Oh, you're uh, four of every resource too little to be able to upgrade your sword to a sword plus one that does 0.75% extra damage to this one specific enemy type in this one specific biome when it's also a leap year. Like, that's the stuff I don't love. Like, there's... N I mean, I, I hope this isn't a rude awakening for anybody. There's no shot I'm playing Diablo 4. And it's not because I have principles. Because I played Overwatch 2. Obviously, I, my principles are, are viable. <laughs> but the main thing that pisses me off about playing Diablo is that, like, 99.9% .9 of the loot that drops is functionally worthless. It only exists to either clutter, clutter up your inventory or be sold to eventually feed into buying a piece of loot that's better. Or that, that you get that 0.1% of loot that's better, but it's like literally 5% better. That's why like, and again, like I'm just addicted to takes that I know are going to be unpopular. That's why like if I'm going to play a AAA game, I would rather play like Call of Duty than play... I don't know, like a 7 out of 10 Ubisoft action RPG. At least I know in Call of Duty, they, the game is basically this. Tick, tick, tsh, all right, lads, let's go out of... Like, you're just... It, it's just a... It's a gussied up way of clicking on enemies, you know? As soon as I find myself having... A, and there's exceptions, like Factorio, RimWorld, I'm assuming Dwarf Fortress is in here. You know, Prison Architect, etc., etc., but like, um, as soon as I find myself like, Google, how do I add a star catcher gem to my kyber crystal lightsaber? I'm like, oh, motherfucker. I see him. I see him spitting there. I thought it would be creep, but actually he's got, it's like a, he's got like an SMG. Looks like me in the Denny's parking lot. <laughs> I haven't thrown up from eating restaurant food. I think, at least not like right after I left the restaurant. But I did eat something at Nichols as like a nine-year-old that really irritated my stomach. And I had to ask my grandparents to pull over on the drive home so I could take a crap in the woods. I'm dead. What is Nichols? Oh, you don't know Nichols? Nichols is the Celine Dion franchise <laughs> restaurant that Probably still exists if I had to guess. But it, it doesn't exist in the location on Bath Road in Kingston, Ontario, where I where I potentially got a little food poisoned. It briefly became Kingston's only good uptown sushi restaurant, but it it might be uh it might be good now. Dude. Hello and welcome to my shop. Would you like to buy some caterpillar bread? It's made with real caterpillars. Half the internet be like, I just met the caterpillar shop salesman. Toby Fox, you sly son of a bitch, you've done it again. That's all right, that went, that went totally fine. You gotta spend health to make health sometimes. And a spell? Suckage extravaganza. <laughs> oh no. All pickups shall shortly be sucked no matter how much they hide. Let's go. Going to a hockey game tonight? Any tips on sneaking alcohol in? Um, I don't have any tips, but honestly, like, I wish you the best. You might think as someone that is, I don't know if people would call me chaotic uh, neutral, or maybe they would say lawful good because I, I respect putting your shopping cart back. In general, if you're going to a business, I don't, like, if you're going to a bar, I don't think you should sneak in alcohol because you're, you're hurting a, a, a business. But when beers are $22 each at the stadium, fuck them. They made their bed. You know, it's the principle of like, if you show me the uh, incentives and I'll show you the outcomes. If you don't want people to s smuggle contraband into your games, then you should make it a little bit cheaper. You've, they've now reached a level where like, 
I know people have been saying that since beers were like five bucks at stadiums, but like they have outpaced inflation like crazy. You've now made them so high. I'm not saying you're going to hurt your own profits. I'm just saying you've lost my ability to sympathize with you if somebody tries to smuggle alcohol in. Did you try holding K yet? I have, I have, do I have the charge? I do have the charge. Oh, thanks for the tip. I really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> thanks for the distraction. When does daylight savings change for you? We actually, we changed it on, uh, on Sunday morning. So I'm already, I'm, I'm through the looking glass on this one. I'd like to have solidarity for my um, European brethren and the rest of the world that is doing it later. I've, I've already paid the costs, and now I am reaping the benefits of, of late sunsets. And not really, like, dealing with too much, you know, I, I actually kind of like the fact that now when I wake up, it's dark again. Because that's when I do my exercise. And when I'm on the Peloton and I look out my window and it's, like, pitch black, I feel like a damn athlete. Like, I feel like a professional athlete. When the sun had already risen a little bit before we moved the clocks forward an hour, I was like, oh, dude, like, I'm, I must have woken up so late. The sun's already up. Now I'm like, I'm rising and grinding. Nothing's changed except the, the time displayed on the clock. What the fuck? <laughs> How curious. The sneaky eyes of thy woodland familiars spy a stray flag waver and his cohort seemingly lost not too far. A sacrificial barrow boner could be sent to lure them here where they shall be surely meet their demise. Is a flag not worthy of a boner? Be gone, boner, fetch me my flag or no way my boners are precious. I'll say be gone, boner, fetch me my flag. I'll just level with you. I don't know what's happening. I think the devil is pretty strong. I haven't read the Bible, so I don't know, like, his relative power level to, like, Jesus and all the other guys, but... I mean, he's gotta be... He's, like, one of the big bads, right? He's got, like, a six or seven. What, like, out of ten? Or out of, like, nine thousand? If thou gain health, but you're at max health, 25% become spirit hearts. Whenever you're hurt, you stream a sticky mess. All meanies that die have an 11% chance of releasing a sticky mess, which slows down n other nearby enemies. Easiest purchase of my life. The heck is this thing? It's, it's it's Shadow the Hedgehog? Flam, bro? Flam? It's mouth backwards? Raise a fresh flam, bro, minion to thy legion, who leaves a blazing trail of fiery inferno flames. Evil mouth be like, I hate gardening. You know what? That is true. That is not a thing that, that mouth would say. Chat, what's your favorite boner? <laughs> Great question. Um, my own, I guess, is pretty close to the top of the list. Your mom's? <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> oh, something wrong with me. Mods horny posting? I don't think they're horny posting. I think they're like, please, get into some banter topics that aren't Costco related. I mean, I'm reconciling with the Costco dilemma. Like, the Sophie's choice of Costco. What is my dilemma? I need, um, well, my daughter really needs chocolate milk. At Costco, four liters of chocolate milk is like $7 Canadian. So that's a bargain. Or I could go pay $6 Canadian for like one and a half liters of chocolate milk at a, at a different local grocery store. But like at the same time, obviously that's a shit deal, but at the same time going to Costco for one item is like, you almost incur like a $20 spiritual surcharge just to deal with the traffic and the, the amount of people that are in the store as well. So it's... So, but then do you go to Costco and then you buy like a bunch of shit that you don't need right now in order to justify it? It's like, it, it's tough, man. No, I drink no chocolate milk. I drink none. I don't, uh, I don't enjoy milk and I actually, to be honest with you, I enjoy chocolate milk even less. So there's no danger of me stealing the chocolate milk. Now, when she said, Daddy, I want chicken tenders for dinner, I was like, bro, that's amazing. Because if she eats the chicken tenders, that's awesome. And if she doesn't eat the chicken tenders, 
then I eat the chicken tenders. Phone me? Oh! <laughs> but the chocolate milk? No, I, I, I don't steal that from her. A spell for me? Let me get, um... Drain boner. <laughs> oh, that gets me every time, man. Eggy bro hatched into a Mad Magnus. I don't know what that means. The hell is Mad Magnus? Me at the St. Louis Open Chess Championship? Oh, it's Magus. <laughs> what the hell is this guy? I can't put this on YouTube. Oh! He's just got a pink helmet, okay? It looks like me after I get off my 90 minute long rides. Too much information. Oh, shut up. Um, I'd like to change my helmet, please. Chest me. Usually I say there's not, like nothing lewd about it, you're making it seem lewd, but there's something lewd about this one. <laughs> it doesn't look like an egg. If it, if it looks like an egg, there's some Peter Jackson perspective going on here. I've gotten really good at... at um, well, this bit concerns you, Kate. So I was gonna... I, I, I don't want to say it when you're not here because it's a little awkward. I've gotten really good at having these conversations with my wife because we're watching this Korean show called Sky Castle. Some, yeah. Sometimes some insane shit will happen. Like, um, there will be... It's a show about a mom trying to get her daughter into medical school. And I know you're going to say, well, how does this next part make sense? Well, every once in a while, by that I mean once every two episodes, there will be a high-speed car chase where someone gets uh, pit maneuvered on the interstate and then they get out and, like yell at each other and then my wife will be like would you do that for our daughter and i gotta be like what the hell i didn't know this was gonna be like a test i would i what do you say would i get in an incredibly dangerous high-speed car chase to get my daughter in the seoul national university medical school <laughs> specifically the car chase would you probably not I, don't, I wouldn't get in a car chase for... I mean, I, I would drive very fast on the highway if I had to get my daughter to the, or my wife to the hospital. I probably wouldn't even drive that fast on the highway to get myself to the hospital. I would just leave early. Burrowers are kind of like half minions. This is a crazy game, man. Boost chance of being offered destinious bone raises by 50%. And the first step of the game is just learning the damn language. It's the only game ever made in English that needs to be localized to English again. <laughs> I read Beowulf in the original Old English. And I understood what was happening. I'm about to brain flex on you so hard. There is a normal English mode? Now I've seen everything. All meanies shall erupt an unending stream of sticky mess. I can already see myself explaining this game to Daniel. Daniel, you don't understand. You're getting your your barrowers confused with your skelly minions again. And then you keep giving up your skelly minions to make a meld, bro. And then you're asking, where did my god skewerer go? It's because he's not a barrower. That's a skelly minion. What do we normally play first? What's our what's our go to oh movie to movie? That's right. Okay, from the modern I see we have a theme this week. The Modern Chronicles of Riddick to Jesse Eisenberg's Social Network. You got Jesse Eisenberg. You got Army Hammer. You've got um, Brenda Song. And um, Justin Timberlake. Okay. I'm thinking, let's see who's in Riddick. Basically, oh, you know what? Hang on. Surely there's a way. Honestly, the cast is kind of stacked. Carl Urban, Bokeem Woodbine, Dave Bautista with hair, which looks extremely strange to me. Um, I'm trying to get to Jesse Eisenberg, who is in the DC universe. Or, well, what, what else? Jesse Eisenberg has been in Adventureland with Ryan Reynolds. So you could cut, connect through Deadpool, probably. That also has, Adventureland also has Kristen Stewart in it. 
I don't know if any of these people were in Twilight or Underwater or Personal Shopper or whatever the heck else she's done. I'm, just give me a second here. I'm, I'm puzzling it out. Jesse Eisenberg has, has been in some stuff. He's been in The Squid and the Whale with Jeff Daniels, who's also from Dumb and Dumber. Also has Laura Linney. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm cooking. We got Army Hammer. Sorry to bother you. The Lone Ranger, which also features Johnny Depp. Justin Timberlake, Bad Teacher, Cameron Diaz. Um, Eastern Promises. No, that's not the one. What's the one I'm thinking of? What's the sci-fi movie Justin Timberlake was in with the noodle hair? Can I get a, can I get a check on that one? No, okay, he is in, in, in time, but I'm thinking of something different. So I'm thinking of Southland Tales, yes. <laughs> and after all that I'm like brother let's just send it Andrew Garfield can't think of that much else he's been in except Spider-Man and Tick Tick Boom though I'm feeling like Batista lets you do like a little James Gunn crossover with maybe like Sean Gunn who uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to find a way to get to DC. Maybe Sean Gunn is in the James Gunn Suicide Squad movie. That's my thinking. So we're going to go Batista, and then we're going to go... Well, let's just see. Is he, he's not in either of the Suicide Squads. Give me the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Give me Sean Gunn. Let me look at his filmography. I am breaking the no Marvel rule because this game's been beating the crap out of me lately. Now, we got Suicide Squad 2021, which makes me think that then we just have to get to the extended DC universe. Surely there was like a connection, right? Michael, no, Michael Rooker is from fucking the, he's from Guardians of the Galaxy. Pete Davidson, Nathan Fillion, Taika Waititi. There's, there's some crossovers here. Flula Borg. How do we get to how do we get to a DC movie which features Jesse Eisenberg? Some Justice League, Man of Steel. You can get there. Batman versus Superman. Was Viola Davis in she's in a lot of these DC movies, as you can see. You got Black Adam. Suicide Squad 2016. That was the first one. Take me to Black Adam and then tell me there's a... Isn't... isn't um, okay, don't listen, okay? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice, Jesse Eisenberg. Um, the Social Network. Hey, we got there. We got there. Total distance of five, I'll take it. It's not too bad. We eventually figured it out. Batista. Okay, but it didn't start at Batista. It started at Riddick. Riddick, Batista, Dune, Jason Momoa, Justice League, Eisenberg. I could see that. Okay, that's, that's faster. But unlike you, I don't have access to IMDb, okay? Guess the game. This looks like Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong. I can't believe it's not. Metacritic score too old. Jet Set Gemini. Jet Force Gemini. Original platform PlayStation. Okay, never mind. This is Crash Bandicoot 3. Chat, can I have some help? What is the third crash called? 
the best one. I thought it was called Warped. Why are there three Crash Bandicoots in here? Crash Bandicoot. Is it just Crash Warped then? Crash Bandicoot. Warped. There, you needed a colon. Nope. Crash Bandicoot 2. Entranced. Crash Bandicoot. There it is, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I want to see Image 6. Okay, Image 6, like, I mean, if you didn't already know it was Crash Bandicoot, this probably would have done it for you. Why not guess the first one first? Because I thought it was the third one or the second one. Does that answer your question? Let me get Rotten Tomatoes Daily. It's a... PG comedy, the audience and the critics both did not like it very much. It's... I know this movie is well-liked, but just give me a start. Give me a start on 48 Hours. A rather lame, amateurish movie made in such a remorseful, remorselessly lowbrow way it makes Crocodile Dundee look like Citizen Kane. Beastmaster... The Beastmaster. <laughs> as much fun as you can have watching someone being repeatedly electrocuted and blown up over and over. House Party. Considering the pre-opening buildup this film has had, it could turn out to be a bigger bomb than the one Einstein's theory anticipated. Porky's 2? I have no idea. Next clue. Critics' consensus suggests Yahoo Serious could be an effective leading man in the right com comedic setting, but this disappointingly uneven outfit isn't it. I don't understand what I'm looking at here. I have no idea. It's Young Einstein. Growing up on an apple farm in Tasmania, youthful Albert Einstein, Yahoo Sirius, makes various scientific discoveries. There was a lot of hype for this before it came out. That's offensive to me. This, that movie is ass. <laughs> okay, how about some Chrono Photo Daily? Here is our Chrono Photo Daily, okay? To me, this looks like um, the outfits look a little bit more World War I, but this looks to be like the Battle of Stalingrad. So I'm going to say that that's 1942. No, it's 1937. Much earlier, actually. Top hats, newsboy caps, Taft parade. I don't know when Taft was elected to the presidency, but I'm going to assume it's like... 1910. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, man. This is like... This is 2010, I would say. You got... Admittedly, it looks a little older based on the decor. But then this laptop is like straight out of 2010. I'm trying to see what's under the Christmas tree. 2005? Nah, man. The prevalence of laptops? This is, this is an 09 to 2011 jam. Don't fuck with me, okay? Do not fuck with me. 2012? This is my era. The hell? There, it must be the 1920s. They're introducing you to the concept of traffic lights. I'm going to say this is 1924. It's 1921. Looking real slick with it. They got a camera. They got a beautiful car. They're dressed like it's L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir took place in post-World War I era Los Angeles. I'm going to say that this is early 30s. Not so bad. 3906. Post World War II. Isn't LA Noir post World War I? 
I thought it took place in like the 1920s. Post-World War II? You sure? He was in the Pacific. There were Pacific parts of World War I. You know, like... I mean, he could have been in like Belgium. That's closer to the Pacific than... I was going to say it's closer to... No, what I should have said is he's closer to the Pacific because uh, he's in Los Angeles. And such as... Okay, hang on. I think my wife is already live. I will send you over there. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll be back tomorrow. Either way, we were right for the wrong reasons. I can live with that. In Disneyland, the bags you can buy is the... It's the... What was it? It was like something fly? Something... From from this one specific company, it's like a small backpack, and that's it. It's just it's just so like limited, and so even though I wanted to spend money in Disneyland to buy some cute stuff, they were just all like toys for kids. I don't want that shit. You know, like give me some like plates. You know, like some Mickey Mouse plates or like um, it was super cute. Unlike the Disney cruise. They had like the butter spreader, but it was like shaped just like a paintbrush. You know, things like that. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like a, it's a butter knife, but then it's like a paintbrush. Like, oh, that's so cute. You know, I was very disappointed. And same thing with the Club Nintendo. There's like no cute merch. Is it because like Americans, they don't, they're like, you know, Ryan's where they don't particularly like find it cute or anything or appealing to like buy it. Because Ryan, where, you know, if he sees, like, uh, it's a bread knife, but then it's, like, it's a paintbrush. He's not gonna be like, wow, that's cute, I'm gonna buy it. He's just gonna be like, that's just overpriced bread bread knife. <laughs> or not bread knife, uh, a butter knife. Honey, we're having guests over. Time to break out the Toy Story plates. Dude, if you did that, I'll be like, that is so cool. Isn't that for the kid's birthday party? Not designed like paper plates. You can design things that are not ne necessarily that you would see in like... You can you can see very, very well designed and like aimed for adults. Yeah, I buy cute dishwares from Japan that are super cute. Yeah, we got little Sumiko Gurashi frying pans, some curry plates, ramen bowls. Um, donburi, pl uh, donburi bowls, sumiko garashi, and lirakuma. And they, they also, um, if, the, if I have option to buy for like Japan Disney or Disney Japan, I would, I would do that as well. Same with, uh, like Pokemon and stuff. Sounds like a hoarder's kitchen. What the hell? What the hell? Why are you guys so negative? Cute. Oh, cute plates. Sound like a hoarder. Sounds like 20 different themed frying pans. He mentioned one frying pan. One becomes 20. Oh, she talked about uh, four different plates. She must be a hoarder. Do you eat from freaking paper plates? Is that why? Oh, you have, you have four plates? Bro, I got zero. I just eat off of freaking paper plates, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Did you mention... Did you mention Sumiko Grashi? Or Nirakuma themed chopsticks? Oh my gosh. I just use takeout chopsticks, bro. Bro, just use it once and then throw it in the garbage. Having themed dishware is normal. Having themed dishware is normal! Dude. When it's Christmas, you guys don't have like Christmas themed dishwares and stuff? What the hell? I do be only having four plates. Wait. You mean like four plates of each type or something? What do you mean four plates? Like in your whole kitchen, you got four flat plate 
like you got no bowls you got no like cups you got no like bigger plates you got no like what, what do you mean just four four plates like is it i'm so confused fewer plates fewer dishes to clean um yeah but like <laughs> wait i just i just want i just want to point out that you guys are like hey having two plates is normal having more than two plates equals hoarder uh, more than two plates you're the weird one it's normal to just have two plates like that's what you guys are saying and obviously that is not the case it's like oh my gosh you have you have all these plates i just have two if you live by yourself what are you gonna do with five plates yeah when you have guest over do you just put it on the <laughs> paper plate <laughs> hey I, I only have two plates so um you could just eat off of frying pan guess i can't well, you don't even have your parents over or friends kid has never been a single 21 year old dude at his shows i do i i do get surprised at how much of like the life of a young single dude's life compared to mine is like what i would consider like i i would i would take it as a fiction i'm like there ain't no way that's real life to be fair i have six plates the fact that you can count the number of plates is weird when you say four plates two plates six plates are you including like the bowls are you include are you are you include including the rice bowls, soup bowls, like the big bowls for cereals, small plates, big plates, pasta plates? Do you do you not have like pasta plates? Do you not have like the bowls for like donburi or rice bowl or or soup bowls or like small flat plate and like the big plates? What the hell, man? How did we have, what happens when you want to drink soup or, or when you cook soup you just you just use a flat plate okay with a manager size kitchen you know we don't have a manager size kitchen you've seen my kitchen do you have an entire room full of dishes yeah it's called kitchen bro cabinets that's where you put the freaking dishes! It's called kitchen! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What do you mean? Do you like cook at home or something? That's insane. Dude, I'm like freaking dying. What is this? I have never boiled the water. I'm the one saying none of us have anything other than plates. No, I said people who know how many plates they have is crazy. Saying like I have two plates or saying that I have four plates or six plates and I'm like does that include all the different type or is it per type or is it just six like what are we six plates just six big plates then what happens when you drink soup there are bowls and other things well then you gotta include those two who just counts like I have six big, big plates and that's it you make it think like you only have six big plates. So, so when I say, hey, I got some nice dishes, people go, oh, you're a hoarder. And then when Chet says, in, in the kitchen, I got four plates. And I'm like, oh, you only have four plates in your kitchen? And they're like, oh, you're crazy, Kate. That's crazy. What are you talking about? So like, whatever, whatever I say, I'm just crazy. Oh, I like cute things. You're crazy. Who does that? Oh, uh, you got more than four plates? That's crazy, not normal. Oh, I have pasta plates. You have pasta plates? Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Who has plates just for pasta? 
Oh my god, so many plates and bowls. Oh my, where do you keep all those? Do you have a dedicated room for all that kind of crap? Yeah, it's called kitchen. Whoa, Pasta plates are crazy. Pasta plates are crazy? Okay, I guess I guess I will knock knock on the Italian restaurant. Knock knock. Hey, by the way, my chat thinks you guys are crazy for having a pasta plate. What the hell is a pasta plate? So if you don't have something that I have, I am just crazy. Pasta plates, yeah, they're just deeper plates. That's just called pasta plates. You can use for pasta. You can also use it for some rice dishes. There's some dedicated uses for plates. Because if you were to put pasta in a bowl, it's not that pretty. If you put the pasta on a flat plate, it's not pretty. So if you put the pasta in a pasta plate, it's pretty. The food, even the food looks pretty. That's not a bowl, dude. It's called pasta plates. In a home, you should have some big plates and some small plates. Any more specific than that is unnecessary. So, wait. Why, 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 why is that? <laughs> why are you judging other people's? So if I, if I have anything specific than that, like, I'm crazy? What, what the hell? What is all, what is, what is this? Whatever I say, I'm crazy. Oh, you eat rice. Dedicated rice bowl. Soup bowls, crazy. I'm not judging you guys. I never mentioned any of that. All I started of this conversation was, I love going to Japan and buying all this cute kitchenware. And then Chet started off with, "Wow, sounds like you're a hoarder. You have all, all a whole bunch of different unnecessary plates." And here I am defending myself. And then now I'm judging you guys. You have a bowl just for rice. Yes, I got a rice bowl. That bowl is just for rice. Me and my mansion. Mansion! Four kinds of bowls, six kinds of plate, ten types of cups. It's a... If you, you have to have a mansion in order to have a dedicated specific plate. You do realize they're not huge. Like, they're not a size of car. Like, you do know the size of my kitchen, or like, how small our place is, and it just fits fine. People might chat be like, PASTA PLATE, WHAT THE FUCK IS PASTA PLATE? NEVER EVEN HEARD OF PASTA PLATE, WHAT THE FUCK, JUST EAT THE PASTA IN A CUP, DUDE. WHAT IS THIS, SO STUPID. PASTA PLATE IS NOT DUMB. You know, people have, like, a lot of plates for specific usage. And I have plates for specific usage. And no, I do not have plates and boxes in the storage. They all fit just fine in my small-ass kitchen. Okay, think about it like this. You think Chet wants to have unique pieces of dishware when they cannot even be bothered to wash the six plates they have already? <laughs> Gotta soak. Wait, wasn't there... Wasn't... Wasn't that... Wasn't that a... A, a bit? The Gotta Soak one? People love soak their dishes instead of washing them. Just leave it in the sink for like two days. Oh my god. Ain't no way! I have one plate, one bowl, two forks, one spoon, and a knife. Wait, hold on. Why do you have two forks? If you have one plate, one bowl, two forks? Is it just in case if you drop one? It's like you were you're using it and then you dropped one. And then you're like, ah, good thing I have extra fork. But then what happens when you drop your single knife? I liked people are saying for each head. It's like a cartoon. I mean, the fact that you guys know how many cutleries you have is also crazy to me. I don't know how many spoons we have. It's not like I have hundreds of spoons. 
if I have to guess, I probably have like 10 spoons. But I don't, I don't, I don't count. Like, I never counted how many spoons I have. Or forks. Or how many pairs of chopsticks. Or, like, you know. Knives or, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Did you see the Armajong post where they called them Ponya and Chinya? I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't use Reddit. Unless Ryan tells me there is something really funny on Reddit, I, I don't use Reddit. I don't go on Reddit. Ryan is a redditor. I see him like on reddit all the time. And I thought he hates reddit. He goes like, I am reddit reddit nah, nah, I hate reddit nah, nah, nah. And then like I always see him on reddit. You have never insulted him more? Oh no, is that a bad thing? Like the day after he first went to Costco, he was... Then talking about the Costco subreddit. That's crazy. That's an addict, right? Like you 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 like you begin to like something and then you like turned on to that you turn on to that specific channel. That's like that's crazy. You know like yesterday during our interview at the daycare, I was like Giga Monka when she asked. Every time it's obvious, it's such an obvious question, but whenever they ask this question, I'm such a Giga Monka. It's like, what do you do for your job? I feel like I'm almost like um like like drug dealer. Like I'm not a drug dealer, obviously. But I almost feel like I'm a drug dealer. I'm just like like I don't know what to say. Like, oh my god, um, like, we make enough money, so, like, let's not talk about the job. <laughs> I had to explain how I make money to my landlord. It's for my exposure! It's like, it's because, it's not because I'm embarrassed that I'm a streamer or a YouTuber. It's honestly the opposite. I, I am very, like, I love this job and there's no, like, shame. It's just the fact that I have to explain what it is is what like makes me not want to talk about it. It's like, oh, you know, like we're we're a streamer or like YouTuber, they're like, oh my god, like you know, let's say like ten years ago, maybe even five years ago when we say like we're a YouTuber or a streamer, pe people were like, What's that? But now they're like, Oh my god, you're like you're like the YouTuber, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh, I mean, I mean, like, I'm not the YouTuber, but like, and they go like, oh my gosh, how do you make money? Like, you know, and then they always want to be us. There's nothing wrong with it, but they want like a leeway. They're like, oh my gosh, if you're a YouTuber, like, you know, can you hook me up so I can be a YouTuber too kind of thing? But you can't really say no, because like, you're already talking to them. It would be really awkward if I say like, no, I'm not gonna help you, you know? So I can't say no to that either. Like, it's so awkward. So I hate bringing it up about like, so like she asked, what's our job? And I was like, it always takes me too long to, to respond to that question. So Ryan now, he just replies, oh, we are influencers. And then like here I am, I'm the skeleton and ain't no way emo. I'm just like Ain't no way he used the influencer word! I cannot believe he used the I word! Influencer ain't no way! Cause like to me influencer is like Yeah, it is worse, right? Like I feel like influencer is worse than YouTuber or streamer. But then I guess like if I say streamer, they might not recognize Twitch. Like they might think I'm like a cam girl or something, like cam girl streamer or something. So maybe like streamer is like out of the box maybe. But then like the YouTuber, like I don't know, like maybe YouTuber is like, oh my gosh, my kid also loves to play video game. Can you hook me up to like YouTube? Maybe 
that's why he also like take that word out of the box so maybe that's why it came out to be influencer maybe i don't know but he said he said we're influencers and i was like i was like i didn't know it so like i don't know if he got the spot <laughs> I'm not saying just because Ryan said that our job is influencers, but I don't think it helped. <laughs> I don't think it helped to say you work in online media. It's just like it all sounds bad. You know what I mean? It sounds so sussy. Like all of them look so like sound so sus. And if you give them like a vague title, they will ask you even more to get like so that they understand what your job is. I gotta like just make shit up. I'm CEO of Laternal Corporation or something. Or like we're we are but then then they will be asking like what does your corporation do or something. I was messed up, man. It's messed up. I don't know what to say. Don't overcomplicate it. Show them Ryan thumbnails. First of all, no. Second of all... It's complicated! I'm not complicating it. It's complicated. We're specialized in online media creation. Oh my god! That sounds like... We're doing something illegal. I'm a content creator. I honestly think that is the best. I'm a content creator, right? There's like nothing. You can't really think of anything lewd in in that context. I think. Whereas in almost anything, you can like be like, oh, you do what online? So here comes the question: What do you do for your living? And then Ryan said, "We're both influencers." And quickly, I went. Oh, oh, like we make YouTube videos and we like stream video games on Twitch. And then she said, oh. Video games? What kind of video games? And it's always, it's like a set question, right? It's just like never once when I say we're content creators or like YouTuber streamer. And then they go like, oh, what games? And then... Honestly, I couldn't really say like he plays super auto pets and I play like Japanese RPG games, so we just say like ah any games <laughs> Any games all the games all the games any games variety of games It's just I don't know and now um, I mean like we really liked the daycare place that we did the interview of so we called back and said we're very interested in like we're we would like to take the spot that's available and i thought that would be it but then she she then said okay thank you i'll let you know because um i'm interviewing other parents so i'll let you know after after all the interviews and here i am like non-stop spinning skeleton in the ain't no way i'm just like i'm just spinning i'm just spinning in the ceiling fan dude but i did not i did not feel good when ryan said we're influencers because i'm just like when ryan's like i don't know when i hear um influencers it sounds like i sell products on instagram and there's nothing wrong with it but i feel like that's what the inst or like like i feel like the influencers is like Either like the TikTok or Instagram, like, like, ooh, guess what I'm wearing today? I'm wearing like this brand, this, this blend that. You can find all the links, like, you can find the links of all the things that I'm wearing today. Like over here, you know, that kind of thing. Like influencer makes me remind of like TikTok and... Instagram. To me, Instagram, 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 like seventy percent, TikTok thirty percent. Hello. Hello. Can I get some? No. There's a bag in the master bedroom. 
that's for that's present for BB. She said master bedroom. What the hell? Fun. What's what's wrong with it? Past the bedroom. I'm all gonna freaking put you all in a bag. Hang it up on the ceiling fan and then just gonna turn on the ceiling fan and you guys are gonna be the the skeleton dude in the ain't no way. A, a whole room for sleeping? What the heck? <laughs> you know chat was like so mean to me on my stream today? They were they were like who the fuck has all this type different type of plates and like what do you mean past the plates and they they went crazy on me he said i know it's a sad world and chat thinks it's crazy for me to have passed the dish yeah for our plate the plate for pasta the yeah those are the best plates we got but then they think it's stupid like why have a dedicated plate for pasta I know, that's what I said. I told them you got the rim. And they're like, that's stupid. <laughs> Ryan said they don't, he doesn't want to see your dinner table. You guys got the marinara sauce all over it. Look what you... You look what you did! You know what? Maybe for next uh, Northern Lion merch drop will collab with uh some chefs or something and um we'll, we'll drop a hot pasta dish for a merch northern lion next merch pasta dish and people are going to have no choice but to buy them and now y'all will have pasta dish and you'll be like oh my gosh how did i live this long without having a pasta dish now my my life Thank you, Kate and Ryan, for changing my life. And you guys will be like freaking crying. You'll be like, oh, thank you. Thank you, Kate. Ooh. Name it Kate Plate. Name it Kate Plus Plate. Huh? Oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. Has to be an eight set. <laughs> That's too many! Who needs eight pasta dish? A great cake plate to save, save your appetite. <laughs> yeah, only the hoarders will buy eight plates. Who has more than eight plates? Only the hoarders got eight plates or more. Or more than two plates, I should say. No. You're enabling hoarders. Oh my god. That's a destructive behavior. Hell yeah! I run you! Take that, bitch! Library video tomorrow gonna be titled something like... The Great Plate Debate. The Great Debate of Kate's... Kate's Plates. There you go. The Great Debate of Kate's... Plates. I feel like sometimes I'm just streaming just so that Watanabe can create content. It's messed up. Yeah, but when are you doing sap lobbies? I don't want to start playing sap and, you know, that's like... That's like the only thing that Ryan's good at. And then if I start playing sap, he's gonna like have no games to play. I don't want to destroy his... his fun. To get a badge in the chat To identify ya You're my subscribers Thanks for 72 months Thank you for the gift subs, thank you for the bitch Thank you for the follows, thank you for the tips Come over to my plate, baby you're a wreck That's an original.